And uh, it's going to be a slow climb, Frank tells us, out of the, uh, the cooler temperatures we're starting with. Yeah, so for this morning, we have temperatures right around plus one. Yeah, we'll end off mild, but it's going to take almost to 7 o'clock tonight before we reach our daytime high. All right, let's take a look at that forecast. Yeah, it's kind of that November forecast where we warm up, we cool down, we warm up, we cool down. And first off, we got to check on wind direction because wind direction is going to impact us so much in terms of what kind of air it brings in. Northwesterly winds typically bring in some Arctic air, make it cold. Right now, you can see we're west to southwesterly, so we're going to start to see a little bit of a warm up. We've been watching over the waterways of uh, Georgia Bay and also over Lake Huron. Been seeing a little bit of some lake effect snow this morning over through MacTeer, into Penetanguishene, up through Perry Sound as well as over through Kingston this morning, has a little bit of light flurry activity. Temperatures right now, plus one at the island, minus one over towards Pearson. You can see our wind chill this morning at Pearson's minus seven, so it's a cold morning. Once again, we'll get to partly cloudy skies through the afternoon, but that slow climb up to about six degrees. We stay at six through the overnight. We'll climb to nine tomorrow afternoon into some wet weather. Then on Wednesday, back to that northwesterly, so that pulls the temperature down. Nice looking day for Thursday, Friday evening into Saturday morning. Rain, snow mix, changing over into some showers. And then on Sunday, I'm expecting that we could see some snow right here in the city of Toronto. That's a look at your weather over the roads with Carrie.